Oh, okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Core Class Legacy Slug. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. He's quite simple, but let's start off with taking what's going to be the jaw. So this is the chest, fold this up. For now, let's just take the arms right out of the way. Then what I'd suggest you do is take the legs, tilt them up towards the waist. This just makes it easier for the next part. Clip this together. And as you bring this around, that tab will go into there. And these two teeny little tabs out at the top will sit in that little recess there. Now you probably find that they won't hold together very well. Maybe because that's a brand new toy, I'm not too sure, but that's probably the best it's ever done for me. Take the accessory, which is gonna double up as the tail, pop that in there. Now you can bring the hind legs down. Now with regards to the front legs, bring them over, rotate them around and turn them facing forwards. Because if you've got them standard way, there's the fist. You don't want to see the fist, you want to see the foot. So up, over, around, and there, of course, the fist is now at the back. And you can open up the jaw a little if you want, but there is your alternate mode. So if we want to take him back, very simple, take off the tail. Uh, separate the legs from the back. Again, if the hind legs get in the way, you can just bring them up as we had them the other way around anyway. Bring these round, once they're down, angle them to the back or up. It's up to you, to be honest. I always go to the back just because it's a homage to the G1. Take the arms, bring them round, rotate as you saw. Take the arms, bring them round, rotate carefully again. Then bring that down. And of course, if you want to, you can use that as his accessory. So to put him in combined mode, we're basically going to transform him near enough back to Triceratops. So let's take the chest piece, which doubles up as the jaw, fold the arms. Do you know what? We can put them forward just for now. Then what I'd suggest is clipping them together as you bring this round. But what you can do this time, you can separate the back part, fold these up, and then these are totally out of the way. This now will fold completely over itself and slot into there. Then you can bring the legs in fact, we'll keep them there for now. Take the front legs, bring them up. They don't really clip into anything, but you can sort of see you can get the toes just in there if you want to. If it falls apart, just clip it together again. Then bring these legs down. Uh, there's no real need to at the moment that we can see, but it's just saying to do that in the instructions. Close, oh no, get, close that up. The most important part, funnily enough, is this. Taking the tail, which is of course the head, take the head out and then pop that in there like so. So that, of course, as you can see, is going to be the top of the torso part. But there you go. That's how you get him transformed.